another flop. Arthur. Another lowbrow reality television program that didn't take. And now we're being sued by one of the contestants. I, I don't know what I was thinking giving you the green light on a reality show based on the Poseidon adventure. How apropos, my dear, because that's exactly what your career is becoming. A sinking ship! But Harriet, what, how, how? No, no! I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the head honchos here are giving you one week to come up with a new idea for a reality television program. Okay, if it bombs, pack your bags. Oh, but Harriet, but Harriet. No, 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 no buts about it, okay? Put a cork in it, kid. You got one week to come up with a hit. Starting now, go, skid out. So love story again. Allie McGraw, 1970. You look ridiculous, Gordon. Call me Jenny. No! Look, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Love means never having to say you're sorry, Brad. Look, Gordon, this is serious. I have one week to come up with a new show or I'm going to get canned. Ooh, that's not good. No, it's not. Now I need you to put on your thinking cap and help me come up with something. Will my alley cap do? Well, that was a complete waste of time. And I'm drunk. <gasps> what? Now that old hoe, she could sure use a makeover. <laughs> That's it. I have my show. Gordon, you're a genius. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. Hi. Five dollars oral. Ten anal. No, I'm not soliciting you. My name is Arthur Bernstein. I'm with CBS. And, um, how would you like to be on TV? Mm -hmm. Don't you think it'd be fun to be on television? I'm Gordon Thompson. Have you ever wondered what happens to your sexy sluts of today long after they've worn themselves down to the bone? You know, when they reach that certain age when they're no longer able to get by on their looks and pole dancing skills? When they've grown out of touch with how today's young skanks are earning $200 a trick and they've been reduced to dollar hand jobs on the West Side Highway? Well, wipe away your tears, put on a big smile, and join us for This Old Ho, where we've assembled some of today's hottest beauty pimps to give some old hag a new lease on life. So stay tuned as we give This Old Ho a beauty makeover that will get her back on the street and back into action. Let's meet our girl, shall we? This is Candy Suckwell. Candy's journey from a hot and sexy pinup girl to a down and out street walker has been quite a journey. Tell him how Bill Clinton used to like me to stick my finger in his ass. Tell him about how I was an extra in Deliverance and how I was gang banged by Burt Reynolds and all the Ozark extras. I was the inspiration for the squeal like a pig scene. I'm really proud of that. Welcome back to This Old Ho. I'm Gordon Thompson. We are thrilled to have world-renowned hairstylist Toby Mitchell on board. Toby's best known for his trend-setting hairstyles on such television classics as The Golden Girls <laughs> and Murder, She Wrote.
I'm dyeing Candy's hair with L'Oreal hair dye. Up until now, Candy's been using black shoe polish as hair dye. But it's remarkable how tremendously well black shoe polish washes right out of her hair. When I'm through with her, it's Cosmos for everyone! Welcome back to This Old Ho. I'm Gordon Thompson. I'm so excited to see how Candy's hairstyle turned out. In the meantime, we've set Candy up with one of our other beauty pimps, disgraced former Miss America, Brooke Devlin. Brooke's own story is quite remarkable, having gone from 1998's Miss America to hardened criminal. But we'll save that for another show. Brooke has lots of skincare and beauty tips for Candy. Let's join them. Hey, gorgeous. Hi. 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 Wow, Brooke, have you lost weight? <sighs> Thanks for noticing. I'm trying to get back to my birth weight. Oh. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Thanks. Candy and I have been discussing her skincare regime, and some of her routine is. Take her example, this fabulous clay mask that we've just done. Candy here is adamant that her clients' facials are so much more beneficial and they don't cost her a cent. In fact, they pay her. Her clients' facials? You know. <laughs> are you talking about sperm facials? And there's no proof that they work any better than store-bought products. They don't? Okay, now remember, you want to work in upward strokes. Upward strokes. Never pull down. You never want to pull down on the delicate, gentle facial skin, especially under the eyes here. You want to use your forefinger or your pinky finger. What happened to her beauty mark? Well, Gordon, that wasn't a beauty mark. That was Candy's very clever way of hiding an open herpes sore. Just a tiny dab of yellow concealer will completely make that nasty sore and all those other imperfections completely disappear. When we come back, it's time to reveal the new Candy, so join us as we see how our beauty pimps pulled it all together. So, are you guys ready to see Candy in all her glory? <laughs> Let's give it up for Candy Suckwell. Oh. Come on out, Candy. Hey, I got a great idea. Let's put Candy out on the corner and see what kind of reaction she gets. Sounds good, Toby. Yeah, um, what we talking about? How much? Well, it looks like our work is done here. This is Gordon Thompson saying, until next week, way to go, this old hoe. You did it, kid. The network loves the show. They're giving you 13 episodes. Really? <laughs> Knock him dead, kiddo. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Hey! I'm not no piece of crap! Excuse me. What? I'm sorry to be so forward. What? If you ever want to be on television, and you have access to a phone, give me a call, alright?